So how will I trust you when you say that you will love me? 'Cause she said that too. And how? Let us begin this session with a prayer. Let us invoke on the assistance of the divine as we. Reflect on this spiritual hymn uh, for the Lenten season entitled "Forty Days and Forty Nights." In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. So welcome once again, level three nursing students of Cebu Doctors University College of Nursing. Welcome to this course in spirituality in nursing three and one one C. We are now in lesson two B, and our lesson for today is about the relevance of. Spirituality. We are on week two of March, twenty twenty two, and this is our virtual class. For our preliminaries, our opening prayer was a traditional Christian hymn for the season of Lent, entitled "Forty Days and Forty Nights." So it is entitled so because the Lenten season consists of Forty days, and this is uh, founded biblically, since Jesus spent forty days and forty nights in the wilderness while preparing for his ministry. There in the desert, he was tempted, yet through his uh, through his uh, prayer. And fasting, he was able to overcome all the temptations. And after those temptations, 
he was consoled. So it speaks of our Lenten observance no? that during Lent, during these 40 days of Lent, we are to strive to pray, just like Jesus did, to pray intensely, to fast, and let me uh, uh, let me rename fast into sacrifice. Let us make little acts of sacrifice for this season of Lent. Okay, and the third would be you no. Know, uh, the first. These are the things to do during Lent okay? to make our Lenten observance meaningful and fruitful spiritually. Okay? So we must pray. So pray uh, a little bit more fast or make little acts of sacrifice okay? and give alms or give okay? or let's just uh, call that give as do little acts of kindness daily, especially in this season of Lent, this 40 days of intense preparation as we commemorate Holy Week or the Paschal Mysteries. The Paschal Mysteries are the Passion, the Death, and the Resurrection of Jesus. So uh, that's the background of you know, the title of our theme. So just a recap of our previous lesson. We talked about the etymology of spirituality. Okay, so, so that we would be able to understand spirituality further, let us, uh, we uh, traced the word, the origins and the roots of the word, of the English word spirituality. Okay? And thus, we uh, talked about its Latin origin, that spirituality came from the root Latin spiritus, which means spirit, soul, or breath. It is also related to another Latin word, which is anima, which means soul. So spirituality also is related to the Greek word, though it does not resemble, but it is equivalent to the Greek. Uh, spiritus is equivalent to the Greek word pneuma, or spirit, breath. It is also related to the Hebrew ruach, meaning breath of life. So we made a distinction between spirituality and religion. Yeah, that religion is something that is lived and practiced in a communal way. Yeah, religion is a set of organized beliefs and doctrines and teachings that are lived in sincerity by a community of believers. While well, spirituality is a, a, an individual belief system, values, okay, that is lived and practiced in a more personal way. So we define spirituality. So for us to be able to value and appreciate something, and in this case, spirituality so that we will be able to uh, value it and be able to live by it and put it into practice, especially in our profession, we must first uh, get to know it and, and understand. Okay, so let us, we define spirituality in the hope that we would get a certain degree of understanding of this concept. The definition of spirituality being a way of life, a perspective based on beliefs and values, an innate longing to connect with the transcendence, an interior life, a metaphysical or beyond the body, or beyond the physical, and a supernatural life. Spirituality is a relationship with the ultimate being, and for many, they would consider that ultimate being as God, the creator, or the absolute being, the ultimate being. Spirituality concerns itself uh, on individual values, 
as well as transformation of society. So spirituality may be something that is personal, yet it is always going to the direction of the communal. We practice and we live our spirituality and it is our earnest, it, it is the, the goal of spirituality, one of its goals and one of its uh, a natural direction is always the transformation of the self. And the transformation of the self will always redound to the transformation of the society. A transformation that is for the better. We also discussed on contemporary concepts of spirituality. Like first, it is a holistic kind of life. Okay, so uh, even if it is a life that directly involves the spiritual realm, it encompasses even the physical aspect of life. Okay, so it is something that is holistic. It involves a quest in the sense of the sacred. Okay, so the sacred, that which is holy, that which is good, that which is noble. Okay, so spirituality uh, strives to enable us to live good, noble, and virtuous lives through our interaction with the sacred. And many would consider the sacred as the divine being. Third, it is a search for life's meaning and purpose. Spirituality is a life in search for meaning and purpose. Or it is concerned on thriving and faithfulness in obtaining a fuller life rather than being successful in life. So spirituality goes beyond the human standard of success, of efficiency. Yes, these things are no, uh, noble things. These things must be sought after. But spirituality goes beyond. It is concerned on thriving and being faithful to one's beliefs, to one's values, okay? no matter how many times a person falters in living or fails in living that values that spirituality is all about, uh, enduring, persevering in one's efforts to live the values that one is uh, convinced of. So it is faithfulness rather than just efficiency and success. And lastly, the contemporary world view spirituality as an, uh, something, a life that seeks for ultimate values rather than the materialistic standards of life. So life has in its uh, material aspect has its own standard, no? the secular standard of life. But spirituality goes beyond to infinite standards. And these standards are enshrined mostly in the divine, uh, the divine laws. When I speak of the divine laws, this speaks of some of the precepts that this the ultimate being uh, the ultimate being uh, lay uh, renders to us okay? and the ultimate being is God for us Christians we uh, consider the judeo-christian God the Trinity. The relevance, we now talk on the relevance of spirituality, which is our uh, topic for today. And this is the last topic for our, uh, for this midterm. Okay. So one of the relevance of spirituality is for purpose, 
direction and meaning. Whether you are on the top of the wheel of material life or on the bottom, right? There is an underlying sense of dissatisfaction, limitation, and emptiness. Okay, so whether you are rich, influential, you have the best of everything, or you are a, a lowly pauper, you are uh, you are living a life in misery, clearly, right? there is always that dissatisfaction, limitation, and emptiness. There is some form of existential anxiety. We are always filled with anxiety on our existence, concerning our existence in its different aspects. Some people are sensitive to this, others aren't. Okay? And, or they try to fill this up by chasing external goals endlessly. Okay, so some people are uh, very much uh, cognizant of this emptiness. Okay? They're very much sensitive to this. And that is why they seek for this external, uh, they seek for external things to fill this void. Spirituality is a search for meaning, for purpose and direction in life. It fulfills our need to have a foundation for living, a path of life, a path and a way of life in, the, in light of a larger context. So, Spirituality is all about seeing a larger perspective of life. And in that, we finally connect the dots and we read between the lines of our lives and find its meaning and purpose. It speaks, the spirituality speaks to the need to be aligned with something bigger than our ego, than ourselves, and individual life. Okay, so spirituality uh, is a life in search for, and once it is found, it is a life uh, dedicated to uh, living a life filled with purpose, direction, and meaning. Another Relevance of spirituality is uh, on oneness, love, and connection. We have an innate desire to be whole and complete. We are unique as individuals, yet we are also with that incomplete. There is also the need to be loved and to love unconditionally. Spirituality makes us whole as it disposes us to love others and thus receive love in return. Mm -hmm. Spirituality uh, compels us to love others and others hopefully would reciprocate the gesture of love. And there is a saying in Spanish, amor con amor se paga, which means love begets love. And if I'm not mistaken, this saying, I'm not quite uh, certain, but I think this saying comes from St. Teresa of Avila, a great mystic from the Renaissance period. So to relate, spirituality disposes us to relate and complement each other, thereby have it to have a sense of belongingness and connectedness. Okay? Since we are incomplete and we discover that, we accept that as we live our spiritual lives, and we are moved to relate with others, to complement with each other. And in that way, we somehow bond with others. And we have that sense now of belongingness and connectedness. Above all, Spirituality connects us with the ultimate being since we are we feel that 
in that uh, void, that incom, that incomplete reality in us, we uh, yearn to connect with the ultimate being who is by essence and ultimately pure love and absolute completeness. Okay? So we become complete as we connect with pure love. We feel that need to love and be loved as we connect with the ultimate being who is love and who is absolute completeness. Another relevance of spirituality is for growth. There is an innate desire in all of us to develop, to improve, to push the boundaries and reach our full potential. There is that yearning to continuously grow and learn, live a life authentic to our truth, develop our mind, cultivate virtues, and expand our consciousness. Spiritual life strengthens and inspires us to harness our possibilities. So with the values that we, that we somehow imbibe in ourselves through spirituality, we somehow uh, pave the way for our growth, whether it is physical, as we develop our, our human aspect, and also spiritual, as we transcend into the heights of spirituality, into the heights of our interior life. Another relevance of spirituality is for answers and truth. We have these uh, fundamental life questions such as, who am I? Why are we here? And what else is there? And what is the purpose of my life? Together with a longing to understand how life works and to learn about ourselves, so there are a lot of questions that are perennially uh, being raised in our thoughts. Spirituality somehow provides us with answers. Okay, so... For some, this takes the form of understanding and becoming cognizant with the ultimate truth in a certain degree. Okay, so there is a saying in Latin, quid veritas est, what is the truth? Okay, that is a, an ancient philosophical uh, question that is also found in the Bible you know, when Pontius Pilate asked Jesus, quid veritas what is the truth with veritas est? Yet Jesus did not answer. And why is it that Jesus did not answer Pilate's question? Because Jesus was already the truth. And Jesus was right in front of Pilate, right before his very own eyes. Okay, so in philosophy, the truth is always the ultimate cause, the ultimate being. And once we have come into the knowledge of that ultimate truth, we then could find answers in a certain way of other questions pertaining to other truths, particularly to truths and realities of ourselves. So the more we live out our spirituality, the more we come to know who we are and thereby answering that question, who am I? The more we live our spirituality, the more we come to realize our purpose, why uh, we are here, as well as what else is there. So it speaks about perhaps what is beyond this earthly life. So spirituality 
is important because it helps us at, in a certain degree to come into the knowledge of the truth. Another relevance of spirituality is for interior peace and joy. The experience of imperfection is the initial stage of spirituality for many people. Okay? And I would also equate imperfection as suffering. Okay? So these imperfections or suffering usually uh, come, uh, they usually come in the form of anxiety, grief, or fear. When we put stock on external things for happiness or to assuage our worries and our fears, these experience of happiness, which are uh, founded on external things, this experience is bound to be unreliable and impermanent since these things are external and finite. Okay? It has been rightly coined as stock market happiness. So external happiness could be understood, uh, could be called stock market happiness because it is like the stock market or the stock exchange. No? Uh, the rate of currencies are fluctuating and the fluctuations are unpredictable okay? so there are times that the value of a currency is mm, is high and there will be times that the currencies will plunge the value of these currencies of certain currencies will plunge down okay? so there is nothing certain and permanent in the stock market as it is in stock market happiness. Hence, there is, a, there is a desire to seek joy and peace from within, something that is not short-lived. There is even the intention to go through suffering with a sense of meaning. So it is a reality that we all experience difficulties, struggles, and sufferings, these things cannot be avoided since these are part of our lives. Yet, we can always give meaning to our sufferings when we go through our sufferings with, with forbearance, with that, with that approach of faith that is always in our spiritual lives so that once we go through our sufferings we do not suffer uh, senselessly our sufferings would not be futile but we give meaning to our sufferings and thereby our sufferings become something that is bearable and that is what you do as nurses and that is how you practice your spirituality in nursing by honing also the spirituality of your patients so that they who are suffering may give meaning to their struggles and come to realize that their suffering is not worthless and their suffering has infinite and eternal merit and value. Spirituality helps us gain balance between the external and the interior life. Okay? So our spirituality, if we focus only on external happiness, external peace and joy, there is that and we do not uh, take care of our spiritual interior life, there is always that imbalance. Okay, so one could be happy in 
in uh, in the standards of the world, but there will always be that inner longing for spiritual wholeness, spiritual joys. And if that is not addressed, no matter how, for example, no matter how rich a person is, no matter how powerful he is, no matter how he uh, chase uh, worldly pleasures, he will not find true and complete joy. Thus, when one seeks spiritual solace, spiritual wholeness, one could even forego the external uh, happiness. So it gives, it strikes a balance in our external and interior life. Uh, Spirituality leads us to independence from external conditions for happiness and meaning. So through spirituality, our happiness will no longer be incumbent on external causes. But our happiness will be grounded on eternal. And when it is eternal, it is a happiness that is long-term. So spirituality helps us gain acceptance and appreciation of our realities in life. So there is a saying, we might not have the best of everything, but we can always make the best of everything we have. So uh, I suppose there is that similar saying that happiness is not having everything, but happiness is being happy of everything that you have. So another relevance of spirituality is transcendence and enlightenment. Spirituality brings us closer to the transcend to the transcendental. And the transcendental is that which is beyond the limited. To transcend would lead to wisdom, enlightenment, and supernatural or divine guidance. So if one person needs guidance, especially if he has exhausted all the worldly guidance and is still unhappy and is still uh, somehow misled, he can always uh, find credible guidance from the divine. And we can tap the divine guidance to spirituality. So spirituality makes us see things like never before. And we see things in a bigger picture. Spirituality is important because it uh, allows us to explore the various mysteries of the universe. Spirituality is diving into and exploring the mysteries of the divine and the sacred, the mysteries of life and creation, the mysteries that is the life here on earth and the life afterwards, and the mysteries of creation and what is to happen also in creation in the afterlife the mysteries of other aspects of reality. And upon having a glimpse of these mysteries, living with a sense of awe and wonder. So it is interacting with the infinite reality. So when we explore the mysterious, we seek for to understand it, to fathom it, but it is always the nature and essence of mystery that they could not be fully understood. They could not be completely fathomed, lest they cease to become mysteries. So in our life, in our spiritual life, as we try to understand uh, the the mysteries of the divine of life and all and other aspects of reality, you will come to a point wherein 
all our knowledge, all our reason would not be able to go to, to fathom the innermost uh, categories of the mysterious. And thus, we, our approach and attitude is always acceptance of that limitation of our reason. Okay? And with that acceptance, to live with a sense of awe and wonder on the mysteries of the divine and of life and of creation. Okay? So in such a way, we have a very wonderful interaction with infinite, with the infinite reality, which is God. And lastly, the importance of spirituality is always, uh, it leads us to service. It is about serving. Spirituality facilitates that urge to serve the divine through serving people and the environment in a deeper level and making a huge difference in their lives and helping the upliftment of humanity and of the rest of creation. So spirituality uh, somehow moves us into service, to serve the divine. And we, we could never uh, serve the divine directly because the divine is something that is spiritual. So we serve the divine by serving the temporal. And the temporal are the worldly. We serve our fellow men and we also serve creation, the environment, as we preserve and protect the environment. Okay? And by doing that, we shall have made this world and humanity world a better place, and we shall have contributed to the development of the human race. Okay, so, and over and above that, as we serve others and as we protect and preserve creation, we give glory to the Creator, and that is our service to the Divine. Spirituality emboldens us to go out of our own ego, ourselves, to go beyond ourselves, outside our comfort zones. It is going an extra mile to give meaning and purpose to the existence of those outside us. So if we seek to find meaning and purpose in our life, in our existence, and if we transcend, we should now yearn and strive to give meaning also to the existence and to the lives of beings outside of us. Okay? Spirituality leads us to a transformation for service. Okay, so spirituality always uh, in its initial uh, stage and even um, uh, in a greater in a greater part of our spiritual life it is all about personal uh, a, a practice of our faiths of our faith of our values okay? but it is always leading to transformation and service for others. Transformation of ourselves and service uh, service for others so that we bring about transformation of society. So in summary for this lesson, let us, uh, we have, uh, enumerated the relevance of spirituality and these are it provides one with a sense of purpose direction and meaning it leads to a sense of wholeness and belongingness it paves way for growth in all aspects of life it leads us closer to the truth and provides certain answers to life's questions it enkindles inner peace and joy, which are long-lasting and undeterred. 
it is delving into and living with the mysteries of the infinite as well as the finite. And accepting these mysteries and living these mysteries in our lives. It leads to a transformation of self from egocentric to, I'd like to call it, alter-centric, since alter is the Latin for other. So from ego meaning I, centered on the me, it is now centered on the other. It is going outside the self, its securities and conveniences, okay, in order to serve others even when faced with challenges. It compels one into service of the divine through service of others, both man and creation. So spirituality leads to loving service. So this ends our lectures for this midterm. And just to have a quick recap on what we have discussed. First, we have discussed on the human aspect of uh, a person, in particular, and in that case, the human aspect of the nurse and even the patient, that uh, a person consists of body and soul. And the body, or the human, or the body, the bodily aspect of the person is important. In, in our practice of spirituality. And the bodily aspect, the bodily needs of the person must be taken care of as we take care of our spiritual lives. Uh, it is uh, presupposed that as we take care of our spirits, we have already given that necessary care to our bodily as to our physical aspect to the physical aspect of our lives okay so we that was the first discussion we talked about the human aspect its relation to spirituality and to our ministry of caring okay next we talked about understand we discussed about the definition of spirituality that was the topic uh, last time or for our, uh, that was the topic for our last lecture our previous lecture which was entitled Understanding Spirituality so we defined spirituality to its etymology and basic definitions distinction between spirituality and religion and modern understanding contemporary understanding of spirituality we have to know the contemporary understanding of spirituality because uh, this becomes our basis on how we live our spirituality today. Okay? And now we talk about the relevance of spirituality. For us to practice it, uh, in it uh, to practice it well, we have to know its relevance so that we will value it and thereby be sincere and really be generous in practicing it. And so, uh, for our lessons, on the final term, we shall be talking about the various forms of spirituality, because every person have different, uh, every person have a particular kind of spirituality, yet we can classify them. And after that, we move on uh, a practical side, how to practice the spirituality, how to contextualize our spirituality in the profession of nursing. Okay, so that's for the final term. So uh, we shall be having a an examination, I think a major examination to culminate the midterm and uh, I hope and I pray that you have learned. You have learned uh, from our discussions 
and uh, you will be able to practice them in one way to another. You will be able to practice what you have learned even as early as now uh, while you are still students. Okay, so thank you very much indeed for your participation in listening in our discussion and I pray that you will also be able to give your best in answering the examination for this course. Okay, so uh, God bless you all and keep safe. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm.